<laughs> so when I sent you the pop quiz, I was very sad. And I realized I'm not doing a good job. You guys are smart, you're capable. Mr. V is not teaching well. So I'm going to shoot at it again. We are going to one more time <laughs> talk about this. Because when I ask you questions, understanding server services and workstation services. So let's try this again. Critical foundation for network services in the Windows ecosystem. So these two services are very important to, to Windows. They're not important to Macs, they're not important to Linux, just a Windows ecosystem. In fact, they're so important to us that if you want to participate, you have to do you have to add some of these services to your other operating systems. Server service and workstations are almost always on by default. There's rarely a situation, in fact, We'll talk about situations where you may want to disable a workstation service or a server service, but in almost every scenario, server service and workstation service are on by default. So my question to you is, if they're on at clients and they're on on servers, do we want our users sharing the hard drive? Because server services allows you to share the hard drive, allows you to share printers. Do we want them to do that? I think no. I'm telling you, no. So why is it on? Why is it always on by default? Uh, in the Linux world, they use Samba server services or Samba uh, client. So there's a difference. There is a Samba server or Samba client. Apple and other operating systems may call it, not Samba, they'll call it what? SMB server. SMB server, SMB client. Server service and workstation service work at layer 5 at the session layer and layer 7 at the presentation layer. So if you look at the OSI model, uh, the SMB protocol works at layer 5. There is a portion of SMB that works at layer 7. It actually formats data. Workstation service, when it talks to a server service, uses port what? 445. So remember, when we say well-known ports, we're always talking about the server or the client. Server. Always the server. Anytime we say port something, port... We do recognize workstations use ports, but they're never the known port, okay? All right, look at layers. This is right out of Wikipedia. Layer 5, these are the protocols that work at layer 5. And notice, SMB is at layer 5. Guess who else is there? NFS. NFS. So Linux, their file system, works at the same OSI layer as Windows file system. So remember, NFS uh, is typically used by the Macs or by uh, Linux. They don't need SMB. They don't need Samba. If, if they're not in a, a Windows environment, they don't need it. And they don't use it. Okay? All right. In an enterprise environment, this is what you must get. In an enterprise environment, server service allows Windows 7, Windows 10 to be managed by administrators. Everyone see these shares. We've got to have those shares available on all these PCs that we're managing. Guess who turns them on and makes them available? Guess who turns them on and makes them available? All right, here I am. Everyone see my shares? Th these are the shares that are only used by who? Who's the only person in the world that uses these shares? They're used by administration. They're used by you. This is how you push applications. This is how you push... Uh, your scripts, your all the stuff that you want to do to manage your computers. We couldn't push a single application if those no, those shares weren't available. You'd have to run around with a flash drive to install applications. Who makes those shares available? Watch, I want you to look. Here we go. If I turn off server services, okay, this is a, a laptop PC, okay? I'm going to turn off my server service. Stop. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. All right, I'm going to come back up to those shares. 
How many applications are you going to push to this laptop? None. Zero. Server services is for you to manage PCs. It's got to be on. Just because server services is on every PC doesn't mean we want it to become a quote server. Yeah. Server services is really to make sure you can administrate and manage hundreds and thousands of PCs anywhere in the world. So with server services on, on these PCs, you could be in, um, you could be in Orlando, and if you had access, you could push applications to PCs that belong to you in Thailand. So server services on, those critical shares that you need. Look, IPC, this is all of your scripting goes through that share. IPC, inter-process communication. Ever heard of processes? <laughs> inter-process communication? That is the hidden door that allows you to run scripts, that allows you to do all the magic from, from your administration console to the PC. Your, your C drive, that allows you to push applications. This allows you to get to all your Windows files. Server service is one reason on those PCs. It's not to let Diego share his hard drive to the, to the network. We'll kill him if he does it, okay? It's not about him at all. It's about you managing thousands of PCs. What is server services for on my 2012 R2 server for? Server. To share <laughs> folders, to share files, to share printers, yes. Mm -hmm. But not on the clients. Even though it's on, even though it's running, <coughs> it has one function only. So you can manage them. it. And we can push things to them. I don't get it. Absolutely. You have full access to them. You have access to their hard drive, you have access to their minimum shares, and IPC is turned on. If I turn off server services, the only way you're going to manage Diego's PC is walk up to it and log on to it. You're not going to manage it remotely. So server services are on every PC, even though they're not a server. Why do we have it? Because they provide administrative shares that are critical for the function of administration. We use them. The users don't. That's in an enterprise. I'm talking about this environment right here. In that environment, they are for us. If you turn them off, you're not going to manage your network but run around with a flash drive and a CD. But with them on, you can manage them. Notice these are all hidden, and the only way you get into them is if you have administrative what? Rights. Nobody else gets into them. So server services is critical for you managing thousands. Now, obviously, server service on server 2012 R2, 2008, its main function is so that we can share files, share applications, share printers. It does that well, okay? But on the client, it's strictly for management. We don't give Diego the rights to fool with this stuff. Even though it's on, it's on for us only. Workstation services is used by users. So workstation service is always on, server services is always on. This allows you to see what? Shares. Shares. Applications and printers on the network. So when I do something like that, I take my PC. Diego can do this. He can hit his network tab. He can see what's out there. Right here, let me go. So I'm going to open up my network. The only reason, when I click that network tab, and I can see all of these devices, is because what service is running? Workstation. Do these guys have server service running? Yes. yes. Yes, that's why I can see them. Is that they're on. That service is on. If I go to any one of them, and I turn server service on, I will not see them in this list. So Workstation allows you to see everybody on the network, all these Windows PCs. Look at them. Look at all the printers. Why are you being able to see them? Because sir, workstation service is on. Mm -hmm. So then you can see the guys. So you can see. see. Not only, notice in this list, look very carefully. In this list is workstations as well as, if I go to, so here's, this is actually a server, okay? 
VWP MSO1, VWP MSO2, O3. Everyone see these? These are actually HP servers in the background. Why can you see them? Because server service is what? Running. And if you click on them, you see shares. Yes? And if I click on MSO2, you see that's what we want servers to do is share folders and files. But if I go back here to this one and I click on, so I'm going to click on this one, what do I see? Nothing. I don't want to see nothing. I want to, I don't, I want to see, I don't want anything shared on that computer. Now, are there shares on this computer? Mm -hmm. Yes, but they are hidden yeah. and only for administrative use. Server service is on on that PC. But as far as being a server, it's not. It's only on for us to look and view and work with and do our administrative tasks. Let me, let me reiterate it one more time so you can, you can see it. I've actually got a remote desktop. So here I've got VWP MS VM1. So I'm going to double click this guy. And notice I'm on that PC. Everyone see it? VWP MC, MSCM VM1. Everyone see it? Mm -hmm. Notice I've got how many shares out there? Mm -hmm. I've got the hidden shares. So I'm going to open up my, my computer and I'm going to go look for this guy. So I should be able to find him on the network. Uh, VWP MS. And there he is. And notice, do I see him? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. What what can I see, really? Nothing, because they're all sh the yeah. shares that are there are all hidden. hidden. And if I go into his services, and I turn off server service, and I stop it, what's going to happen when I refresh this? You're not going to see him. I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to say, he just went off the map. He doesn't even exist. Now, listen very carefully. Can I ping him? Yes. So I got one that says yes. I still I have four yes more because, answers. Yes, because he's yes. still on the network. He's I have two just... answers that say yes. Yes. Three that say yes. They know. <laughs> <laughs> Mike says no. What does Brianna say? I was going with Mike. Okay. So, these are services, and so let's go, let's go find out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fire up CMD. Come on. All right, we'll run CMD, and we're going to go ping. I'm going to ping the name. No package logs, but... <laughs> so we're going to ping v, uh, VWP MSCM. Make sure I'm typing it in right. VM oops, VM one. Okay, three against two. Solid handshake. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ooh. So <laughs> think of it. Ping is working at what? What level? What TCP level? Uh, level. level three, isn't it? It's a, it, it, layer three. It's pinging the IP address. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's I ICMP it pinging the IP address. Mm -hmm. We know that we have a service at layer five we turned off. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't stop us from pinging. There's TCP. We didn't turn off TCP, yes. Yeah. Did we turn off TCP? No, yeah. we just turned off that work, that server service. Mm -hmm. Now, can that computer surf the internet? Yeah, Let's go. Yeah. Absolutely. Because That's browsers true. don't use server service or workstation service. So I'm going to fire up my browser on this machine. Server service is off. Now, if Diego wants to manage this device, where is he going to have to go? He's going to have to go find it, walk up to it, and do his work because he can't do anything remotely. So, does does a browser use server service? Absolutely not. It doesn't use it. Can I surf? Yes. Can I ping? Yes. Can I communicate to that PC? Yes. But I cannot, I cannot access those shares because they're turned off. If I want to push an application, I won't be able to push an application. I can't run a script against it. 
So there's a lot of things I'm now dead in the water. A lot of network, I didn't disable all network functionality. I just stay, disabled workstation, talking to server, moving files, that's not going to happen. Not going to be moving files because that's all dependent on workstation and server services. If I'm going to move files or run a script against it, is this, this is, listen, you're not slow. This is complex. <laughs> this is complex. I was so, thinking how you get an alert when he, if he, let's say he's trying to be stealth. He's okay. trying to hide from you for some whatever reason. Not him, but anybody. So when he turns that service off so we can't see him. Yep. I can still you, ping him. But I'm thinking you would just kind of alert that you got you, you got a user out there now that is turning his service off. Well, what off. would happen is if we try to do something administratively to uh, all the PCs, we would get a failure on his PC. Uh, we would say, okay. um, we tried to push. We tried to we tried to push. Um, we try to move uh, a virus gotcha. definition to him. Oh. And on our virus consult, we'd say. He hasn't had an update in 40 years. <laughs> okay, we would track him down, and the reason why he can't get an update pushed into his PC is because his administrative shares are turned off. So he wouldn't get updates, he wouldn't get a lot of things that are dependent on this kind of functionality. But he could surf, we could ping him, let's go home. Very different. So does Diego want to be able to do things in his home? Yes. yes, he more certainly does. So, let's, let's go back over. UNC functions on the fact that you've got workstation service. No workstation service, you're not going to do this. Now, let's talk about small business and home. Do we want to be able to share in our home if we purchase the operating system, we own the home, do we, do we want to do that? Mm -hmm. Yes. So, in a home environment or a small business, you can what? Share. share. Now, Microsoft knows that's dangerous in grandma's hands. It's very dangerous because people don't understand the complexity and the, the nature of sharing things. So Microsoft developed what? Home groups. Home groups allow an idiot. Mm. Let me. <laughs> I talked to one last night. <laughs> All right. Now, home groups allow technically challenged human beings to share um, Safely, and look at this, safely and what? Securely. 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 Pictures, music, data to everybody in the family. It's very easy to use. It's very secure. Uses IP6, uses encryption. It's very, very good. And it, it's not complex to them. So Microsoft does allow sharing. And it, you, know, you can share pictures and documents and folders. So workstation services at home allows you to see a home group. So workstation and, and server services are important at home. 